Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Allen Family Firewood again. Glad to have you along. <laughs> Today, we're going to show you the inventory that we've got put up so far around the wood yard. First, we're going to go up on the top side and show you the hardwood inventory that we've managed to put together. And then we'll show you the um, pine inventory that we're working, down, working on down here in the wood yard so far. Um, but first, let's go up to the top side and check out the hardwood inventory. Okay, let's head up there. Let's go. All right. <laughs> All right, so we're up here on the top side with the um, hardwood inventory. And I just did a quick count. There's 45 cord of hardwood up here. And that's counting because there's still six pallets in the, the failed <laughs> kiln attempt. Three cord. <laughs> we haven't taken it out of the building, so that's still there. But yeah, there's... With everything all put together, yeah, there's 45 cord all split, and most of it's bundle size. Most I of mean, it is, yeah. We've separated a lot of it, and we can show that to you here in a second, but we've got some, some of the rows are just the ugly splits, um, and we might burn that at our house. Yeah, you tried to keep that separate so it would be easier when uh, I it's, did. Time when it's time to pull it out. <laughs> pull it out, you, you don't want to have to be moving all kinds of different pallets, so. And there's a lot of different configurations of pallets as well <laughs> we, quite an assortment <laughs> we started out with a four foot pallet four by four and then we went to what a a four foot three pallet to add a little bit of space that wasn't quite enough no. so i don't know they probably can't see it but there's a couple three of those tall ones yeah they were what five foot by six foot tall and too tippy yeah they're too tippy that didn't work <laughs> glad we didn't build many of those no and now we're on to to these pallets which are six foot wide but only four feet tall with which two are rows. perfect oh yeah there's a nice wow. nice big air gap in between of probably like i don't know four inches yeah four, five inches so much more stable so yeah. They we, do, they... we finally found one that's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we, we could take a second and show them the, I mean, some of these pallets are nothing but maple. We've separated that. But mostly what we've had this year has been oak. And, yeah. And we've done all this since, what, the end of December? And here we are, I don't know, three quarters of the way through March. March. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll, we'll show this and then we'll go. Well, maybe we'll just go show them the inventory of logs. Yeah, we can do that after. Because <laughs> those are piling up pretty big. i got to get this on. Yeah, yeah, yeah just, for sure. All yeah. right, let's go take a walk. All right. All right, this is, like we were saying, oak. But this is the six-foot-wide pallet, guys, that's four feet tall. And you can see way in the back there, those are the, I don't know, there's three back there that are six-foot tall. They're, they're just the ones that are a little bit taller. Um, but this is all... I mean, bundle size, oak, whatnot. I mean, it's all pretty decent stuff, I think. I mean, it still has bark on it. Maybe that's next year's event. We'll start doing the hardwood like the pine and make it all barkless. <laughs> well, let's check out some of the, there's a maple one over here. Uh, yeah, that one's a six footer. Then we're kind of getting back into the, the four foot pallets here, but this is all maple, all with a split down nice and small. What do we got over here? Uh, that one looks like it's all, all oak as well. But it's now we're getting back into the, the first pallets that we had of the four foot stuff. So I think the next couple rows over here Yeah, this one's all maple, you can tell. Looks a lot different. And if you come up in here, you can really see the difference, guys. Look at that nasty stuff, huh? <laughs> it's not really pretty, pretty wood at all. It's just big, big, gnarly, nasty crap, but you know what? It'll burn good in the boiler at the house. So either that or we'll burn it in the shop. But that whole row is is all the, the big uglies. 
and then over here there's some of the other stuff is mixed with it as well but I think these are all oak over here and they're all on the four foot pallets that we started with in the beginning because you can see there's not much of an airspace between these so I don't think it's going to dry that great being like that I mean it's it's probably better than piling it but hey we're learning as we go, just like everybody else. <laughs> and we're slow learners sometimes, too. we got to do things the hard way first. But let's go over and check out the logs now. All right, over on this side, well, it's kind of got mixed up. There's some long hemlocks there, but that was generally the pile that you're seeing over here that was all 10-footers and 8-footers. But it's gotten mixed up. <laughs> This was just another pile of longer stuff, longer than 10 feet, at least 12s to 16s. And as I was sorting through the pile, I was setting all the hemlock off over on this side. But there's some, some pine in there too, but it's mostly hemlock because I've got a, a pretty good size order coming up this spring for somebody that's building a huge garage and they need a whole bunch of 12 foot hemlock two by fours. But I also set aside this big pine, stuff that's gonna saw nice wide boards. There's no point in us sawing those out and turning them into six inch lumber when it can make an 18 or a 16 inch wide board. People pay stupid money to have those wide boards, so I try and set those big logs off to the side. But yeah, as you can see, it's it's adding up out here rather fast. There's one, two, three, four, it's probably five, maybe 5,000 board feet of lumber up here. And if I don't get after it, I'm going to start losing some of this because... Some of the stuff when we got the logs, the bark was coming right off in it already. It was dead standing, and which is fine for pallets that we're using, but I don't know. It, 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 just, it, it just keeps adding up faster than we can saw it. <laughs> but let's go down and check out the pine inventory and go from there. All right, before we show you the inventory of the split pine, I figured I'd show you the, the pile of logs over here and the other pile of logs right here. These are both pine. They've been moved around the wood yard here. Oh, geez, we've had those pretty much since last summer we've been adding to that pile. So, I mean, they, they've been moved all over this wood yard here throughout the excavation and whatnot. And they're a little on the dirty side. We're kind of hoping that a lot of the back would fall off just to make it so I don't have to sharpen the chain every tank of gas. But this I, I don't know, there's probably 20, maybe a little bit better than that, of, of that pine right there. We can show them that other pine of hemlock and pine we've been bringing in. That's kind of over, we've set that over, over there. That's all fresh stuff that we've just been bringing in, so we're kind of saving that for last. Uh, what else have we got here? There's, there's a pile of oak right here. As you can see, it's covered in snow. We got a little taste of that. What was that? Yesterday we woke up to an inch or two of snow, and that was going to be today's video, you guys. <laughs> but it sounds like we've got quite a bit of snow coming tomorrow, Saturday, like 7 to 10 inches, I think. Yeah, so now that it's finally spring, yeah. um, we're going to yeah. get snow. Grass was starting to green up. and Yeah. It's back in the teens again today and more snow coming, but that's why we haven't done that yet because I don't want to get in there and cut all those rounds up and have it snowed on them. It just makes for wet gloves when, you, when you're processing all the wood. So, Plus you can't remove the snow when there's a bunch of rounds in there. No, it, it sticks right to the wood and even the rock bucket doesn't get rid of it. So we knew all this snow was coming. So before we, we show you the split pine, I'll show you what we've been doing the last couple of days, cleaning up around here. And, and you've seen it from the last few videos. When we're taking all that back off in the pine, it adds up fast. I mean fast. 
we filled that dump trailer just full of that big pile of bark over here. And we come over here and <coughs> it was, I mean, typically the, the dump trailer sits out here that we, we take the rounds out of. And all of this out here was just full all the way back to that big log. I mean, it was, it was up that high. It had built up and was coming back on top of the splitter. So we hauled that all up to the mulch place. There's, there's no real good use for that. Um, but. And we got rid of that huge mountain of uglies over there too. Oh, yeah. Stack that. True. Yeah, there was the uglies they add up to. That's, we need another trailer to throw the uglies into because throwing them on the ground and stacking on the ground is no fun. <laughs> Not really, no. There is a little pile of the, the short chunks, these short little pieces that everybody wanted us to save. But yeah, they are in a heap. They're adding up, and this show them that over there too, because they probably don't realize this, but I have been saving these, you guys, and there's quite a few over here. I just got to have something to some way of storing them or moving them because they're not going to dry very good right there. I mean, that's all hardwood, just short chunks and pieces. So, yeah, for those of you who thought I was throwing it away, I was, <laughs> but everybody complained and whined and got all upset that I was wasting wood. So, there it is. <laughs> what I need is IBC totes so that when I'm splitting it, I can throw the chunks into it and then I don't have to handle it again because I've had to pick them up off the ground, throw them in the bucket, bring them over here, dump them. They're going to get picked up again and I don't know where they're going to go, but they're going to have to get handled a whole bunch of times and it's not worth handling them, but I'm doing it, guys. I'm doing it. <laughs> so I don't want to hear no guff about throwing away good wood. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Uh, all right, I guess let's go over and uh, let's go check out all the split pine that we've got because that's starting to add up too. All right, so here's our inventory of pine that we've got put up so far. There's yeah. like what seven and a half cord here of well, the bundle grade stuff. It's more like eight because we rounded them. Well, yeah, these pallets hold. These are those screwed up pallets, you guys, that we built. The tall ones. Yeah, and they hold more than half a cord, so. Yeah. yeah there's hard. eight. There's eight cord there all day long, Definitely. easily, of just the bundle grade stuff. Right. But, and we've got uh, probably two cord, just about of the uglies on the yep. on the other side. We'll take you over there and show you that. Um, but that's what we've got done so far. We uh, got all the pine that was in the, the trailer um, so we could clean up around here. They got that all split still and stacked. A bit. There's this, probably a wheelbarrow load in there. There's a little bit in the stacking trailer still, but not enough to fill a pallet. So right. we stopped there and we'll that's, go show you the rest on the other side. But that's about it for the pine. Well, we'll show them all the, they could probably see it in the background over there, all the kindling. And we got more pallets of stuff over there so <laughs> we got, we'll go, we got stuff, stuff everywhere, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> let's go over there let's go check it out yeah <laughs> all right here we are at the uglies as you can see these are all the nasty gnarly odd shaped pieces but there it is they still burn right they so do we've got this one's almost full it's like this much shy of being full but we've got three pallets there so just about two cord here of the uglies God, it's cold out. It's like the middle of winter again. Ah, oh, there's no mosquitoes. It's I don't nice. like it. It's nice. I'm cold. <laughs> but that's it for the pine. Yeah, let's go we'll, check out the other stuff. We'll show them the assortment of other things we have over there against the wall. There we go. <laughs> hey, right, there's two pallets, two full pallets of kindling. There's still another pallet over there that's, I don't know, got two full rows on it, I think. But there's got to be... I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's about 800 bundles of kindling right there. Maybe what's over there is, it, it'll certainly put us over a thousand bundles we'll have for kindling. Um, we did get an IBC 
tote, not well, not really. Sort of. I don't know what this thing is. It's something my kid hauled home from work. It all folds up and whatnot, but I picked up all these pine chunks the other day and chucked them in there, so I don't mind saving all this stuff when I've got a good tote like this to put it in, so yeah, if we can get some more totes, then that'll make life really good. What do we got over here? This was, uh, this is just popple, poplar, whatever you want to call it. This is just crap we were burning in the shop because nobody, nobody really wants the poplar and it doesn't dry very good. If you leave it outside, it just keeps soaking up the water. So it has to get put inside or covered up. Uh, what else we got over here? Well, some more slabs from the last time we we milled that are all just crappy. There's no no good use for those. Those are going up to the mulch place. I've cut everything good out of it for either kindling or chunks to split. This is some more ugly ugly oak stuff, but it's not a. It's just one row, little little over a row. And I don't know what's this one. This looks like a combination. There's maple on the back side and oak on the front side. So that's what you do when you have leftovers in the yeah, snacking trailer. <laughs> yeah, when it's not enough to make a full pallet, it, it has to go somewhere. So uh what else have we got around here? We've got all the hey, let's go show them the bundles. Those have been sitting there. That's inventory, right? Right. Yeah, let's go look at that. Well, here's the uh, pallet that we're working on of kindling. Getting there on that one. It's adding up. All right, here's, I don't know, we've got six pallets. These all have a hundred, hundred of the, the bags of pine camp wood on them. This was a test that we were doing last fall. We wanted to see whether or not the bags would hold up over the winter. We did cover them up with this black plastic and I've checked on them and I mean I, I'm not getting any of these to rip so maybe being in here by the building they were kind of protected by the sun but they seem to be holding up so far I mean I haven't taken them and chucked them on the ground but yeah I mean it's all I, I it, it's worked so far. I mean, we haven't opened these up and really looked at them, and I'm not going to until it's time for the season to really get going. But this uh, six pallets of that, so this 600 of those already already made up. We do have over there. We can go over there real quick, I guess. Let's go check that out. And just outside of the cow barn here, this is all some pine uglies that we had from last year. That's kind of what we've been heating the shop with this winter. You can see there's some empty pallets around here. This one's still pretty much full, and there is one more over there that's pretty much full as well. But I think that's going to pretty well wrap it up for what we've got on hand for inventory. Uh... That is that is about it. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> it. It's really nothing else. There's no lumber made up right now. Uh, no, but we're gonna have to be um, sawing, getting rid of some of those saw logs because we we do. We're looking at the inventory of four by four runners, and oh, yeah. there's not much there. No, we were gonna show you the inventory <laughs> of all the the four by fours that we make that go underneath all the pallets to hold them up off the ground, but. There's only like six, six four by fours left, so yeah. We decided not to do that. And I generally use firewood logs for that. They don't have to be real nice. They can have knots and big nasties in them, and they don't even have to be square. They could be bark edges on all the way around, but yeah, it's just something to hold the pallets up off the ground. But that's another thing on the list we got to get done. More sawing. We got to do a lot of sawing coming up. We and, do, but anyway. That's it for the inventory. Yeah. Okay, well, that's a wrap. We had to warm up first before we uh, said goodbye because <laughs> it is so cold out here. I can't take it. Uh, I'm going home. 
Oh, jeez. You can finish cleaning up the chunks around here and yeah. in your heated cab. Well, yeah. Then you won't freeze. <laughs> There's not that much more to do. I mean, are those chunks all going to get just thrown in the rock bucket <laughs> by hand and then dumped <laughs> in the pile where I'll have to handle them again? Right. But whatever. Is what it is. I get unhook the trailer because I left that on from yesterday. When I was hauling all the crap out of here, so yeah. But yeah. But short and sweet. Just wanted to show yeah. you what we've got going on for inventory because we're not really doing a lot today in the wood yard. So. <laughs> no, I got plenty to do inside. There's still pallets to build, and I'll get the other trailer inside and work on pallets and maybe kindling because there's still some of that in there. So. Right. There's plenty to do. On and plenty on and do. on. But you, you go home where it's warm and not windy. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> if you insist. Boy. It'll be a good dinner tonight. <laughs> Maybe. All right, you guys. We appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. How's that? <laughs> we will. All right. Bye. Bye. So what's for lunch, girls? Huh? Anything good? <laughs> it's like hay today. Yeah. I don't know. I'd rather have a burger. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no offense. Oh, boy.